It's me, A-Y. Hey, buddies, it's your girl, Christina. And today, I'm going to try to do something a little different. We're going to do a haul video. This is my New York Comic Con slash New York City haul video. As a lot of you guys may know, or some of you, depending on how much you keep in touch with me. By the way, you'll hear the baby in the background because she's background because she's roaming around in here. We just got back from Comic Con. We went to New York Comic Con. We were there for like six days in, in New York. Um, a couple of days we went to Comic Con. A couple of days we went to Central Park. We roamed the city. We went to Times Square. I posted a lot of pics on Instagram and Twitter and I will be posting more. Also, so did Charlie, which is X Hey Charlie X on his socials. And then OMG, which is Old Man Gamer. 72. Yeah, so today I wanted to do a haul video. New York Comic Con was freaking overwhelming, but um, one thing that we all agreed, like me, Charlie, my husband, was the fact that this was the first con that we've been to that we bought a lot of stuff. But this is the first con we've been to where we got conned. No, I'm just kidding, that was a bad joke. I will not do that again. This is the first con where we bought a lot of stuff. And then like a couple of things outside the con, like, you know, around New York. So let's just get into it because it's a lot of stuff. And there's a baby in here and I don't know how long she's gonna let me record before she's like, mommy, we got to go. We got to go. All right, starting off, well, I have put a couple things behind me so I can put them down and she can play with them and then we can call it a day. We bought some books. So this is Star Wars Block. Now this is like this big old book that you can, you know, keep for yourself or read to your children. There was a booth right attached to Disney on the backside. That's where we got this book. It's just basically over a bunch of different characters. Like, you know, you have your Jedi, you have your background characters, you got Jango Fett. Well, he's not really background, depending on who you are. You might think he's background or you're not. Characters, vehicles, villains, things, all of that in one book. There you go, that's for you, boo boo. The other book, because we got a bunch of books, is this, which I'm really excited about. I really, really like it. Um, this is the Marvel Alpha Block. It basically goes like A is for Ant-Man and B is for Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. This basically goes over the entire alphabet, but it relates each letter to a Marvel character or villain or anti-hero. There you go. I got this at the same place that I got that other book. This book, I'm excited about. This is the Night Night Groot book um, that we got at the Disney. I say we because we got one and then um, Charlie got one. This is a um, Night Night Groot book, which is like Night Night Moon, I think is the original book, but they made one Groot style, which is really, really cute. And it goes over, a, it's like a little nighttime story that you can, you know, tell to your little babies or to yourself if you like to. Staying kind of on books and paper stuff, um, I have a map of Central Park. I wanted this as a souvenir, so I got it for myself. Did you know they charge $2 for this crap? And I paid that $2 for this crap? We started over here on this end, and we're like, okay, we, we're walking the park, we're walking the park. Come to find out, like we had started, let me get this correct. Apparently we only walked like this amount of the freaking park. And you see how big, this whole thing is the park. This is a massive park. Here's some posters that we got. Well, this is Dawn of X, if you've been following, if you know comics at all, there's House of X and, um, no, no, is it House of 10? No, no, House of X and something of 10, something of 10. Something of 10, I forgot uh, well, already. My husband's been following me, he's been just filling me in. And then here's a Runaways poster, which is uh, Hulu. I think it's a Hulu, yeah, it's a Hulu original. That's what the poster's mirrored after, but the show is based off of like a Marvel comic book that came out, I don't know how long ago. Y'all will have to look that up. When I finally made it to the Marvel booth, they reined me in a bunch <laughs> of Eminem comics. They were just so eager to just pass these out. They gave li me literally a stack. So I will be doing a giveaway to give these away. Um, info will be in the description box once I figure out how to do it. But please only enter the giveaway if you can if you can follow the rules or you're at least 13 years or older because sometimes people enter the giveaway, they win, and then they're like, oh, I can't give my address for you to send it. Well, that's how you win. If you win, you get the item. So don't enter if you can't be have the item sent to you. So only enter if you can have the item sent to you. So I'm doing a giveaway for um, M&M's Hazelnut Spread Marble One Shot One 
Also, as a giveaway, I will be giving away stickers. They gave me a gazillion stickers. So there's a whole bunch of like the, like these look like playing cards, but they're all individual stickers. Info down below. The punch! Age of Heroes All Might, which looks so freaking dope. We went to the Disney store in Times Square, okay? They have a Disney store in Times Square. And I bought my husband this so he can put on his wall collectibles. And this is the Buzz Lightyear doll. It, and when you press things, it's supposed, when you press buttons, it's supposed to say things. But this one, I didn't try it out beforehand. As you can see, uh, it's not activated or the battery's dead. At the Disney store, $32. At New York Comic Con, someone was selling this in the dark web section for $110. Crooks, I love New York hoodie. Also, I bought this, this is gonna be for a friend. It's a snapback of um, the Fallout Pip-Boy, I believe is what he's called. I don't know how many people know this because I don't think I really talk about it, but I love Flash on CW, it's one of my favorite shows. Like I am in love with the show. I love the progression, the growth of the actors and their abilities, their capabilities, the powers of the characters, the story, everything. I love everything. There are moments where it's kind of cheesy and kind of all that, but for the most part, the show is such a freaking good show. And they had Star Labs like sweatshirts, like what um, Barry wears when he's in Star Labs or just, yeah, I think he only wears it when he's like chilling in Star Labs or he's training. So I got me one, girl, I got me one. Haven't opened it yet, so I hope it fits, but it's a large, it should fit. So this is, this is kinda gonna be a mess, guys. Just bear with me. All right, walking around New York, we stopped at 30 Rock, bruh, and I got me the, the boom, 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 NBC, um, pigeon, not pigeon, bruh, it's not a pigeon. I don't want no pigeons. Peacock, I was like, I know it starts with a P. Partridge in a pear tree. Yeah. It's so comfy, guys, so comfy. Ugh. Love it. Here you go. So I stopped at this booth that changed my life. The booth is called Culture Fly. Um, hopefully I'll be working with them to do like, because they do boxes, but they had so many things that made this little Pusheen heart so happy. Bruh, I'm gonna show you some of the things now, and then when I pull out the suitcase, there's some more stuff in there, because I bought a lot of stuff from there. Uh, yeah, they have this cute little freaking blanket, right? You know how when you're cold you just wrap a blanket around your shoulders? Well, they do it for you. It has the Pusheen kitty hat thing at the top, right? Let me try to put this right on top of my hat. So it's like the hood. It's got a hood. And then it wraps around. And this is Florida, so I won't be able to do this too long. But it wraps around and it has these little snaps. So you can snap it in for comfort. Oh, if I wasn't wearing the hat, it would fit better. It's kind of hard to do this when you got a beanie already on. But yes, it's so cute. Oh my goodness. I love it so much. A soap dispenser with a Pusheen soap dispenser. Really cutie. And a Pusheen vinyl that came in. Oh, I would wear this right now if it wasn't like 100 degrees inside my office. But I'm gonna be wearing this later, trust and believe. Also, I got this Moo Moo <laughs> Pusheen hand towel. Pusheen um, loofah. A stress ball. Get all that stress inside me. Oh, it feels good. My baby is literally inside my suitcase. Halloween one. This one is so cute. That's so cute. I have a toothbrush and a holder. I have a Pusheen fanny pack, which is so freaking cute. I'm gonna be using this now on like when I go to the mall and stuff. I'm gonna be rocking my Pusheen. I have a little, it's a little Pusheen in a robe. This is so, oh. Careful, baby. For a Cloud Nine shirt to Superstore 1217 in the show Superstore, which is so freaking hilarious and so relatable if you've ever worked at a freaking Walmart, which I have. So many things are so freaking relatable, and that show is hilarious. I freaking love that show. This is the NBC bag that all my NBC stuff came out of. I also got a magnet, but I think that's on the fridge, and I'm not walking all the way over there, but it's a Cloud Nine magnet, so magnet. Cloud Nine magnet, so. You know. This is a shirt my husband bought me from the Marvel booth. <laughs> it says I love you 3000. Oh my goodness. Every time I see it, it makes me sad because of what, that, what happened in the movie, but I freaking love the movie. <laughs> I love this shirt and I love the movie. I just wear it. 
Oh my goodness. From the Disney store, we also got like this really cool black and white Mickey that's right here. I don't know what they're called, but there's a name for them. I think it's like Mims or Nims or something like that. But there's these cute little, there's um, Mickey in like a little suit and then Minnie in an I Love New York little outfit. But they're these cute little squishy things. She's trying to reach for them. Mickey Mouse stuffy. I love New York. That's what she just said. Everything I'm showing, she wants to grab. Bam! Look how cute he looks. And he's got Hedwig on his arm. These I will take out of the box and I will post pictures on Instagram. So follow me at iChristine yeah. so you can see them. I'm not going to take them out of the box right now because the baby's here and I don't want her to mess them. So this is Hermione. Look at Hermione in the back of her wand. And this is Ron Weasley. So yeah, that was my New York Comic Con slash New York City haul um, of the different things that we got in Times Square, in a New York gift shop. Oh, I'm not showing you the suitcase, it's just a regular suitcase. And then also at New York Comic Con. I am in love with everything I got. Now I'm gonna have to find places to put stuff. Let me know what you thought about me doing a haul. And if you want me to do more hauls when I go places, let me know if you like these Just Day Why videos. I'll do some more where I'm just chatting and stuff. And keep your eye out for the vlog. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles. Oh, I walk and I talk and I dance, I do many things. It's me, A.Y. Uh... <laughs> You're so freaking cute. This was actually Susie. <laughs> this was not at the, <laughs> at the Disney booth. Not in my house, to the sound Yay! Yay! <laughs> She loves cherry. Because they had like, Marvel was there, they had like, the, I don't know if Star Wars had a booth? I don't think Star Wars had a booth, per se. But there were people selling lightsabers, but I don't think they were associated. But this was, this was specifically Disney books, so that's what that was. Like that freaking crackhead. But it was, uh, I don't want to say doll, but figure. This is my husband. It's all mine, but he doesn't want to take it out of the box because he wants to this thing at CBS, I don't follow nothing on CBS. N no offense. But yes, the, uh, NBC, I love a lot of the shows they have on there. <laughs> You're just like screaming. Yes, baby. Baby, 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 here, baby.